New into stock, we've got a lovely low mileage Citroen C3 Picasso 1.6 HDI. It's the eight valve exclusive. It's a five door, 2012 on a 12 plate. Done 23,353 miles. Beautiful condition inside and out. Finished in uh, Arctic steel metallic. Fuel economy, urban 46.3, extra urban 68.9, and combined is 58.8. 0 to 60 time of 11.2 seconds and uh, top speed of 114 miles per hour out of a 110 brake horsepower engine. Anybody got a shotgun? MOT until the 27th of September 2019. Road tax six months is 66 pounds, 12 months is 120. Has a full Citroen dealer service history, was um, sold and serviced by the same garage and first service 5th to the 7th 2014 at 9,686 then the 24th 8th 2016 at 11,889 and that's uh, the, these are all done at slip end garages Citroen dealer then on the 14th of the 8th 2017 at 18,360 we'll, we will probably service it before it goes out um, at least an oil change and, and filter and uh, the warranty check over. I'll just show you around the car. Um, we've got front fogs. It's got privacy glass. It's tinted windows at the front and then privacy glass at the back. Uh, we've got these aluminium roof bars and also the uh, door protectors at the side there with the chrome strip on. It's uh, the, the blade design alloy wheels. I'll just show you in the back. Nice big boot, 385 litres with the uh, load cover down, 500 with it uh, taken out completely, and then 1500 if you put the back seats down, which also split independently of each other. That goes a little bit higher. We've got this protective uh, carbon effect, carbon fibre effect cover on the uh, rear bumper so that when you're dragging stuff out, you don't scratch the paint off, and also reversing sensors in there too. Again, okay, privacy glass and rear wash wipe. I'll just show you in the back. Plenty of room in the back. We've got this uh, part of the rear seat there that uh, folds down and you've also got a load through. I can't get my fingers around that. Oh, there, there we go. So that, that loads through and you can reach into the boot or load skis through. Got rear picnic tables here you've also got compartments in the floor um, you can store phones in and purses and stuff like that as i've no doubt mentioned another nice touch at the back especially if you've got children well these the rear headrests they're okay for a child there and then they extend all the way up there if you're an adult you've you'll have to knock them up otherwise uh, they'll be they'll be stuck right in your back Centre seat belt slides across from the roof, so you've got a proper inertia reel belt. And also, if you do have children or anybody in the back, you've got these blinds to go across if it's sunny. I'll just take you for a ride in it and I'll try and point out some of the things on the way. I, uh, I really like these cars. Uh, I think they're very, very practical. There's bags of room in them. Um, I think, uh, gosh, from memory, it, there is 385 litres of space in the, the boot with the uh, load cover on. There's 500 with it off. And with the back seats down, there's 1,500 litres. So it's a massive, massive load space. It's a nice position to, to get in, especially if you're knocking on a bit, a little bit older. The, uh, like me, the seats are higher, easier to get in. Uh, and, you know, you're, you're not using your thighs and your legs to drop into the seat or get out. 
uh, your legs are virtually straight when you're getting out. It's got pretty much everything you could need on. It's, it's a lovely spec, it's a lovely car. It's got um, aluminium roof bars. It's got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. We've got uh, power folding door mirrors. This particular car has got um, kind of a it probably imitation carbon fiber um, protection cover over the back bumper. Uh, these, again, these cars, a lot of uh, disabled people have them or people with disabled partners or children. Bags of room for a wheelchair and then when you're dragging the wheelchair out, it tends to scratch the, the uh, bumper. So that's, uh, we've, it's got that covered. You've got reversing sensors as well. Um, electric windows, remote central locking. We have two keys for it. It's got a full service history. The rear seats fold independently of each other. Got a front central armrest here. Cruise control. You've got blinds in the back windows. Not only have you got dark glass, tinted glass, but you've also got blinds to pull across. So again, anybody with children with child seats in the back keeps the sun off them. Um, it's it's a very practical and versatile car this um, as I say I, I really like them it, the, the seats are very comfy quite built up as well uh, at the sides stop you sliding about when you're going around corners not that you'll be going around corners too fast in it I don't think the rear wash wipe There are under floor um, luggage compartments. Not too big, but obviously, you know, if you if you want to hide your sat nav or something or your phones, then uh, a few phones or your, your um, purse or whatever, wallet, then uh, um, th there's plenty of space for that. It, uh, this uh, front central armrest here, which is adjustable. You've got, hang on, let me pull that down. You've got a 12 volt power socket there, 12 volt power socket there, and another, the one, wow, that was the fastest light change I've ever seen. Um, right, anyway, so, Looks like a 12 volt power socket, but it's an aux in uh, and USB plug. We've got two cup holders there, big door pockets, a big um, glove, glove box. There's another compartment here for, for stuff. What's that for? Oh, oh, look. <laughs> That's a mirror so you can watch your kids misbehaving in the back. Another one that uh, points in the back there. This, uh, it's, it's a really good, well thought out car. And, and we always re do really well with them. It's got a full Citroen service history as well from the same garage. Uh, supplied it new and, and have also serviced it. I'm not sure whether it's ready for a service yet, but uh, if it is, we'll do it before it goes out. It will have a three months car care plan warranty, which can be extended to uh, 24 months with call assist as well. Um, we, we're not looking to make any money out of that facility, which most dealers do, so we'll just pass that on at cost. A nice six-speed gearbox. There is plenty of room. Uh, the other thing on the, the back seat, right, sorry, on the back of the front seat, there's um, a little kind of picnic table and there's also a light on it as well. Um, 
it's uh, it's a, it's a very very good car, especially if you've uh, if you have got kids or uh, you just keep them amused. It drives well. Headlights are on the right here on the end of the indicator stalk, and uh, on the right we've got wipers. Cruise control button is here. Just uh, and then then we've got the. Um, digital dashboard there in the centre. Let's just see if we've got. Yes, there you go. That that gives you your uh, fuel computer information. You can swap it about like so. And it uh, it also shows you um, your telephone display and uh, Bluetooth audio streaming display. Your radio frequencies. got uh, automatic air conditioning and the CD radio here the car is finished in I think it's Arctic steel and we've got kind of cloth and velour uh, a combination of cloth and velour uh, seating upholstery which again is very very nice just try and remember how you switch the cruise on. Is it on the switch on the back? Switch on the back. There we go, cruise. Set on, that's it. Just set to 71, so I'll just knock it down a bit. There's two little buttons on the back. The one on the top increases the speed, the one on the bottom decreases. So, stupid boy. So, we'll start again. Just uh, cock that up a little bit. We'll get in the outside lane, try and get to 70. Yeah, 70 miles an hour, just doing 2,000 revs. Nice economical diesel engine. Suspension is not too wallowy. Um, vehicle is quite high, quite tall. Steering is really good. We're not going very fast around this uh, roundabout, but uh, holds its line nicely. Got this uh, kind of um, how would you describe it? It's got kind of a triangular pattern on it, a raised pattern, a silver finish, and then you've got piano black in the centre, aluminium on one of the, the three spokes of the steering wheel, which matches your your door handles and also the gear sticks around, and these little. Uh, decorative inserts there.
nice alloy wheels. I think they're called blade alloys, um, multi spokes. It's a nice looking car, if not a little bit boxy, but uh, hence the space and so on. only four of you in the kind of rear, the rear armrest section of the rear seat folds down and there's a kind of little container to put stuff in. Rest your phone in so it doesn't slide off your seat. Which is a good idea these days because I don't know if anybody else has noticed but the the people who design plates so that when you put your knife on the side it slides off and goes into your gravy uh, and your sinks when you put the soap in the, the top and it's alright when it's dry but as soon as you wash your hands with it and you put it back it slides and goes in the water those people design seats so everything you put on the seat slides straight down the back and down the back of the seat I think it's a conspiracy myself but Nice, nice car.